Yes, believe it or not, everybody, the last time Southampton were here at MK Dons, it was Nigel Adkins' first game in charge of Saints. I remember Dave, you and me, sat here, and Nigel came up to talk after the game, and he was all bubbly and perky, and we had a chat on air, and they just lost that game 2-0, which is the last time they met here. Of course, it was the same year that they went before that and won the JPT, beating MK Dons home and away in the semi-finals. So there's a bit of recent history from those few years ago, but this is the first meeting between the two in the League Cup. And really, Dave, the team in green and blue away to our left as they huddle and hug the Saints players should really come out of this winners. And his ball is cut out on halfway. Now Rodriguez can run at the MK Dons defence. Skips past two defenders. He's going to get to the ball at the edge of the box. Into the penalty area. Right-footed. Sweet finish. Jay Rodriguez, all his own work, in the goals in the cup competitions again, one in the Europa League, now one in the League Cup, and that is a beautiful solo effort, skipped the ball between two defenders, drove to the penalty area, and then opened himself up and curled it inside Martin's left-hand post. Lovely start for Saints, wonderful goal from Rodriguez, MK Dons nil, Southampton won! Down this right-hand side, sends it through the channel for long to chase. He'll beat K to it easily. Pulls it back. First time shot from Cedric over the bar. That was a chance to get his account up and running for Saints. The attacking right back. Good run, but not a great finish over the bar. Goal kick 1-0. Once again, once again, Adam, it's a little one-two, but again the ball played in behind the MK Dons defence. And that's what the uh, the Dons haven't done yet. Yeah. And Cedric does that in lap. He said that before well, didn't he? He likes to attack from the corner of the penalty. Well, he's area. got himself in and into a goal scoring opportunity then. He was unlucky. Yeah, just got it over in a long distance shot. Doesn't go far wide either from Romeo. The Saints get the ball back and he just unleashed that from 25 yards. Martin acted like it was always going over, but I'll tell you what, Dave, it was only about a foot and a half over the top. It was bar. moving. <laughs> That was shit, and they're giving it away from the clearance. Mane into the penalty area, shambolic defending, narrow angle, chips the keeper, beautiful finish from Sadio Mane, who comes down beneath us to celebrate, and MK Dons, the architects of their own downfall, but a good finish from Mane. He has a League Cup goal to go with his Europa League goal, and both two of the three strikers have already scored in the first ten minutes. Dream start for Saints, MK Dons nil, Southampton two, Sadio Mane. Poyet takes over, and that's a clever ball from him. Lovely ball as well, driving run, low shot, left-footed, easily kept hold of in the end by Stecklenburg, but you have to give Carl Baker credit, first real sight of goal, and there's two of their class players, Poyet and Baker combining. Good ball from young Poyet. Apart from at the Saints end, away to our left, where a good number have travelled. Jay Rodriguez with a lovely solo effort, as long as him down the left, crosses to Mane, Mane in the box, hey, left-footed, 3-0, almost from the penalty spot, slots it past Martin, again MK Dons give the ball away, again Saints hurt them, ball into Mane, he has his second, and with less than 25 minutes gone in the game, Southampton lead MK Dons by three goals to nil. Yeah, and oh, that's ball whacked into Daniel Powell's stomach, and he hesitates and Saints keep playing, and Mane ignores the run from Cedric, squares it inside, 1-2, looking, gets it back to Juanmi, whose shot is parried over the bar by Martin, it's the first good thing the MK Dons keeper has done all night, and for a moment I thought Mane was going to have his hat-trick, and in the end, Juanmi almost got his first goal. And Agutha caught on the ball by Juanmi, legally, Juanmi needs to try and get up, surely he was fouled, he gets it back actually, because Davis has gone in there like a terrier and won possession back. Steve Davis is driving towards the penalty, still going, tries to shoot, gets it all wrong, it's a goal kick and I'm afraid that sums up poor old Stephen Davis, he's lucky in front of goal in the last 18 months. But I tell you what, what a great run. You know, he's got players at his heels, biting at him, two players, one from the left, one from the right, he shakes them off, gets past them, makes his way into the D, sees a goalkeeper coming out, and then just scuffs his shot. Nick Kate M, Dons. by the way, wins it back. And Carl Robinson can't be happy with this. Well, no, he can't be happy, he's bringing a player on in a sec. Now, Jay Rodriguez, that's it, run across his body, 30 yards out, he'll pull the trigger, right foot in, it's wide. Really good effort, Martin in the end. Just watched it go past his left post, but boy, he hit it sweetly. From our angle, you didn't know that was going to go inside the I post or outside, what, but he really like a bullet it. out of a gun. Oh, absolutely middled it. And the clearance is poor from Stephen Davis onto the chest of McFadzine, and then Lewington plays it out to Powell again. One on one with Cedric now, trying to line him up. Daniel Powell comes in the field, hits the low drive, scuffs it, 
That's Declenberg, and the ironic cheers from the same Since Hall has come on, they're playing with more purpose. Yeah, absolutely. You feel like in the discussions post Manchester United, pressing the ball has been on the on the menu. Long down the right wing, crosses to the back post. Swanley's up there, good defending in the end to deny him, and it's Keith Stroud said it came off Swanley for a goal kick. Cedric does find him. Drags to K out, skips it past him, and if he's not there, goes past Lewington. He's tripped, stays on his feet just, has the ball slowed up slightly by Lewington. Now the cross from Cedric from the right, and a cushion header clear, and there's a penalty charge and a penalty given. The crowd screamed for it, Shane Long wanted it, and the referee has given it. The defender McFadstein leaning all over him in the penalty area, and 3 0 could be 4 0. Three minutes into well, the second half. Do you know what I've seen this season? I've seen a lot of shirt pulling and pushing in the 18 yard box, and the linesmen and referees haven't, haven't given it, but the referees seen that one tonight. And it's blatant sometimes, Adam. It's been happening quite a bit, and people have been getting away with it. Well, there is no sentimentality with regards to Mane's hat trick. Jay Rodriguez, who scored one in the Europa League. He likes taking a penalty. In front of those Saints fans away to our left then. Rodriguez up against Martin. Up he steps. Right-footed. Down the middle. 4-0 to Rodriguez Southampton. Rodriguez has his second. Mane has two. And Saints have made the perfect start in the second half. Just like they did the first. And they are on the verge here of embarrassing the home side. Well, what can you say? The first half was easy. You're looking for the... The, away, the the home side to come out, you know, and give the away side something to think about. And, and within minutes, it seems to get a penalty. You give another, and, and you shoot yourself in the foot again, another foul, and uh, and Saints go four up. Have the ball with Matt Target midway inside the MK Don's half, left hand side, this near side, foul on Long, again, who's worked hard through the middle. McFadzine again is annoyed by the decision. This will be a free kick in a really dangerous area, about a yard outside the penalty area. And here comes Ryan Bertrand Day. That microphone we've got down to the Saints bench is still working, which is good to know. Matt Target gets a break, and a big applause to Ryan Bertrand. We haven't seen him since the end of last season, recovering from a knee problem all summer, hardly had a pre-season. And that is possibly the biggest cheer of the night for the England international left-back, who knows he has an opportunity for club, certainly, and for country, with Luke Shaw and Leighton Baines both out of action at the moment. Can he make a successful comeback? Ryan Bertram back, which is music to Saints fans' ears. Well, it is, but you've got to give a pat on the back to target. Absolutely. Van Dijk from this free kick. He's going to whack it, and he skims the crossbar. The big centre-back, he loves a free kick. And he skimmed the crossbar with it. I'm just amazed that there's so many crazy players. He, in front when he of hit him. it, I thought this is going in. Oh. It went over the top of the wall to the goalkeeper's right. I thought it was going in the top corner, just over the top of the bar. Skimmed the bar. Ball out on the left wing for MK Dons from the corner. They're taking short and they give it away. And Sadio Mane will break. It's two on two. He skipped it past one of them who sold himself. It's three green shirts against one retreating white shirt. Mane threw to Rodriguez and they gave the one shirt. In Hodgson a sniff he and just, he just made a tackle on Rodriguez. He just didn't knock it far enough in front and it just gave the defender an opportunity to get back and slide tackle and get the tackle in. Gaston Ramirez on loan, not in Ronald Koeman's plans at all, really. But as I said to you, Koeman said to me last week, as he gets a touch on the right, infield to long, edge the penalty area, drills a shot from the right-hand angle from 20 yards out and it's... Uh, goes over the bar, enough to get the fans excited, but it was always going over. Yeah, he played Ramirez at Millwall and West Ham in the same week, and a lovely ball over the top from Gaston Ramirez has put Guanmi away, Guanmi down the right, squares it across the six-yard box, and then it's deflected from the defender's boot onto the chest of Shane Long and into the back of the net for Southampton's fifth goal of the evening. Gaston Ramirez opening the MK Dons defence up with a ball over the top for Juanmi's well-timed run and then another defensive blunder and the ball coming off Shane Long's chest into the net, his first losing, Saints 5, MK Dons 0, Southampton 5. Um, 
<laughs> Stephen Davis gets the ball back in the middle of the park. Again, MK Don's clear up to halfway, but Van Dyke just takes over. He almost eats the space in front of him. And a through ball for Long. He's onside. Great finish. First time. 16 yards out. Full swing of the boot. Smashes it past Martin. Another good through ball. Stephen Davis in the middle of the park and Oriol Romeo dominating that area. Through ball. And Long has another. So he's got two. Rodriguez has got two. Mane's got two, and Saints have got six. MK Dons nil, Southampton six, romping through to the third, fourth round of the League Cup. Saints, this one goes horribly wrong, last minute of normal time, Dave. Corner, outswinger from Davis, right to the back post. Jay Rodriguez, what a shame, he had time to plant he's the header to go back, back across the, mixer. the goal there, Adam. Yeah, I think he just took his eye off it, Davis, just skidded off his head. I think he saw that, that, uh, that far post, but really, that's a one where he's got to put it back for the other players. Done you know, well. they've come away from home, they've turned in, they've worked hard. And that's it. Keith Stroud says, enough is enough. MK Dons are put out of their misery. Saints have a 6-0 win in the League Cup. Third round, and their forwards have flourished. Rodriguez has two, Mane has two, Shane Long has two. Those are the three starting forwards. A perfect night for Ronald Koeman's side. Return of Ryan Bertram from injury. Gaston Ramirez back in from the cold. Makes an effective substitute in the second half. And they keep a clean sheet to boot. MK Dons nil. Southampton six. And that's the way you do it, Dave, I think is the answer.